Hello everyone, this is Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com, and today we're going to be looking at iTunes Radio in iOS 7. So in iOS 7, one of the newest features to the music app is iTunes Radio. Now, iTunes Radio is going to be a lot like Pandora Radio, if you've heard of that, and um, the basic idea of it is going to be the same. Now, by default, iTunes Radio is at the very bottom left. However, if you go to More and Edit, you could always rearrange it. I like it down there, so I'm just going to keep it. And um, from iTunes Radio, I'm going to uh, look at my different stations. Now, my stations is listed down below, and I could go to Edit and uh, get rid of stations if I so desired. But I'm going to keep these in there, and uh, we're going to see I have things like Jazz Showcase, Beatles Radio, Classic Rock, and iTunes Top 100 Alternative. At the top, there are the latest featured stations. You know, This is where I got the Jazz Showcase and the Beatles Radio, right up here. There's Jazz Showcase, and um, there's a lot of different featured stations up here. Also, um, Classic Rock is something that I added in myself. So when I hit that, we're going to go to a song. I'm going to hit pause so I don't get copyright problems. And we're going to have a couple options. The first is to hit the I at the top. From here, I can see the song that's playing. I can uh, make a new station based on this artist. can make a new station from this song. I could hit the little list icon to um, see this in the iTunes store. I could hit cancel to get out of that. I could also start a new station based on the song. I could tune this station. Now this is something that really does separate iTunes Radio from Pandora. Now I can have this station play a lot more hits, so a lot of classic rock hits. I could play a lot of variety, so um, maybe it's not as popular of a song, but it's something I might like. Or I could go to Discovery, which means even though it might be on the edge of classic rock and maybe a different genre, it will still play it and I could discover new music based on this station. You can also choose to allow explicit tracks or not. And then I can share this station either by posting a link on Facebook or Twitter, can post a link uh, on email or message it to someone, could copy the link to the station, or I could airdrop it. Now, again, all, everything other than airdrop will be links. So the person will have to click on the link, they'll be redirected to the iTunes store, and then from the iTunes store, redirected into the music app. So that might not be the most user-friendly, but it is better than nothing. So if I hit done, that was all based on the I. Now, directly from the player, I could hit the money sign right at the top right, the $1.29, and buy the song without ever really leaving the music app. I could also go to the bottom and skip to a different uh, spot in the song. I could hit play or pause. I could skip to the next song. Now, you are limited to the skips, so use them wisely. I can also hit the star, and I can play more tracks like this one can never play this song again, maybe I really just didn't like it at all, or I could add it to my iTunes wish list. Now be warned, all featured iTunes stations, things like the Jazz Showcase, do not have the ability to play more tracks like this or never play this song. Those are featured preset stations and they follow their own basic guidelines. So you're not going to be able to finally tune those to your taste. So that's really going to be the iOS side of iTunes Radio, but one of the strong things about it is iTunes Radio is not limited to iOS devices. You can also access it on Mac laptops or Windows laptops as long as they have iTunes. That goes the same for desktops, whether you have an iMac or a desktop PC. As long as you have iTunes, you can access iTunes Radio. So we'll go over there and take a look. Okay, so now we're taking a look at iTunes Radio for any Mac or PC. Now, you're going to need iTunes version 11.1 for this to work, but once you've updated, um, under your Music tab, you're going to have Radio right at the top, and when you tap that, it should look a little something like this. You probably won't have the same My Stations, but um, your Featured Stations will be right up there. So, as I said, the Featured Stations, those will change when iTunes decides they want to change their Featured Stations, but as of right now, this is what you get. Below that is the My Stations. This is going to sync directly with iOS 7. Really simple, so if you have any stations from your iOS device, it will sync directly to the PC or Mac and vice versa. Now, one of the big things you're going to notice about Featured Stations versus My Stations is the fact that Featured Stations are just that. 
iTunes has put together a station that they think is a masterpiece, and you can't change a thing about it. Now, the best example of this is Classic Rock is a genre station that I just searched up and created. Now, from here, I can tap and I can choose to have a lot of big hits. I can choose variety or I can choose discovery. I could add um, more artists like this or I could add an artist or a song. And I can personalize this station to an extent so it's something that's really more personal to me. If I go to Jazz Showcase... I just see the history of the station. I can't change a thing. This is what iTunes has made, and in their opinion, it's a masterpiece. It's going to stay the way it is. Now, of course, there's no problem with that whatsoever. Um, there's different stations, and it might be easier if you have something like maybe people like uh, guest DJ Katy Perry, or you like um, if you like Drake, or The Voice Radio, or something like that, or they love the iTunes Festival, and they just want to hear songs from those different types of featured stations. I personally love the Jazz Showcase and the Beatles Radio. So those I'm just going to leave. And I also chose Classic Rock because I do ha enjoy Classic Rock as well. So let's get into the station real quick. If you want to play a station, like if I wanted to play Classic Rock, I tap the play icon. It's going to start loading. You can see the icon. I'm going to pause just so that I don't get any uh, copyright problems. But right at the top, I have that dollar sign right there. I can go and buy this, not even going into the store, just buy it right here. I could also hit the arrow and play more songs like this. Basically, everything that the song has, as well as sharing the station. I could also show the song in iTunes Store. I have these star options right over here on the left. Play more like this. Never play the song again, because it's terrible, if you think that. And add it to my iTunes wish list. Now, as we saw before, if I click anywhere but the play button, I will get the settings or just the history. Like, right here is the history. Um, <clears throat> the universal setting of allowing explicit songs is right over here. Something that I found kind of annoying. I don't know if they will up this in future versions of iTunes. But you actually have to drag the allow explicit on or off left and right. It's not just a tap. It's a drag. That's just a personal preference, but it is something you have to deal with. Um... Chances are you're going to turn that on or off once, and you're going to leave it like that forever, so you probably don't care. So really, this is iTunes Radio. It's quite simple. You either like a song, you don't like a song, you customize the station over time, and it's like a Pandora that's integrated directly into Apple products. So we hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial and explanation all in one. If you do, please like the video. It really does help. You could subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Also, you could go and find us on Facebook and Google+. We are How To Do Tech for both of those. So you can just find us on there. If you have any questions, you can email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com or leave them down in a comment below. Finally, you can click the annotation to go to our iOS 7 playlist. iOS 7 is a brand new operating system from Apple with tons of different updates to it, and chances are you have some questions about it. So just tap that annotation. You can be brought to the playlist, and from there we have tons of different videos about iOS 7 to hopefully address your questions. But again, if we don't find uh, the question that you have and you don't find it in that playlist, just email us, and chances are we could help you out just with um, some type of text chat or by making a video based upon that specific problem. So I am Alex Bavalsik and I will see you next time.